This all started as a dream a number of years ago when I was watching my daughter at a special school and the young people there would be trained in all kinds of skills for work and then when they left school they couldn't get jobs. So even the best students were employed for a really short amount of time and lost that employment and were never told why. And as a parent something inside me snapped and I thought I have to try and do something about this. Um, I can't know about this problem and just leave it and not do anything. And I thought I was going to set up a cafe initially, um, but realised then that that was just creating another mould that young people with disability needed to fit, rather than finding out who the young people really were themselves, the stuff that they love, the stuff that interests them, the stuff they get excited about, the places they want to work, rather than being told, here's the place that you have to work. What we came up with was the ORCA project that then allows young people to be themselves and to help them to grow in their confidence and their capacity and a whole lot of work skills that will be useful across any number of jobs but in that process find the job that they really want to do and want to be a part of. Stuff that excites them each morning to get out of bed to go to work. I love that it's turned from creating another mould to actually breaking the mould. We needed a word that had some useful acronyms. So the O-R-C-A stands for Opportunities, Readiness, Community and Abilities. So finding those opportunities for young people, getting them work ready, connecting with community so they're not shut off from the rest of the world and working behind closed doors but actually um, making relationships and breaking down some of the barriers and the preconceptions that people have about people with disability. The other beautiful thing about an orca is that it's been given a label as a killer whale, but it's not actually a whale at all, it's a dolphin. And it's only when you get to know an orca that you discover that they're far more than that label that they've been given. And they're graceful and they're intelligent and they're trainable and they are beautiful creatures who live in community groups, in pods, in families. And if they're cut off from that community and in isolation, their dorsal fin actually folds over and they become quite depressed. And I've seen that too many times with young people with disability who get isolated cut off from community and become depressed and living a life that no, none of us would want. So I think the orca is just beautiful in so much of who the animal is and who our young people living with disability are and there's some beautiful connections and they inspire me um, and the young people inspire me. So that's why it's called the Orca Project. <laughs>